a couple a couple weeks ago, right? Like all last month, for, you could say for the past two months, even. All right, there's been a conversation going on on the internet between men and women about men versus the bear. Okay, and in this conversation, women were basically saying that they would rather be in the forest, okay, by themselves, trapped or stranded with a bear over men. And at the time, I was like, you know what? This conversation is silly. It's ridiculous. No one in their right mind would choose to be in the forest stranded with a bear, right? But ladies and gentlemen, this right here is why women choose the bear. Jesus Christ. Um, this dude was basically in Dollar Tree. Goes to Dollar Tree and decides to assault a female. He doesn't grab her, doesn't physically assault her, okay? He assaults her with his DNA. Y'all get the drift, y'all know what I'm talking about. Listen, there's more to the story. This ends up blowing up, right? Rapper, the rapper Meek Mill ends up seeing this and he comes out and he's like, look, this is so heinous, this is so ridiculous, this is so disgusting and nasty that I'm putting two grand on his head for anybody who can come forward with information revealing who this loser is. And you know, anytime money get involved, it don't take long. So I can't imagine being caught in this situation. I can't imagine it. Like, you know, for as much as we talk about all the, the things that people aren't grateful for. Women, it, it has to be a scary thing to live in this world, in this modern era as a woman, right? Because you just, you have to have your defenses up at all times. Because it's losers and, and nasty ass niggas like this just running around on the streets loose. But let's get more context. This just in, the man police say sexually assaulted a woman at a South Philly Dollar Tree store has turned himself in. The attack gaining national attention, even rapper Meek Mill tweeting today that he would award $2,000 to the person who finds him. Police identified him as 35-year-old Gary Miles. Uh, I didn't want y'all to miss his name. Gary Miles. First of all, the name Gary in itself is... Unless, the, unless it's followed by Peyton, it's nasty work. But I want y'all to look at this full shirt. Even his, his shirt selection for the day told you everything that he was about to be on. He was about to go outside and be absolutely nothing but a menace to the society. That's it. His shirt selection told you what he was on that day. It's not going to lick itself is what his shirt says. He's got the receding hairline. He's got the very, the very nasty Vegeta from Dragon Ball hairline going on. This dude is your quintessential I never got any girls type of loser. This is the dude that was in high school that you saw that was always pressing up on girls that they didn't want to be around. This is the guy that was in high school that always came around, his breath was always stinking, his clothes was always nasty, he was always, a, he was always bummy looking, didn't matter what he put on. This was the dude that you saw in high school that was the absolute class loser. This was the guy that everybody looked at and knew automatically that he would grow up to be absolutely nothing but a piece of trash. This is it. Everything about him is nasty work. The shorts, nasty, tight, gray. It's, it's, it's just everything about this screams, I'm a predator. Yeah, everything about this says, I'm a predator. And my wife, you know what? <laughs> as much as I rag on my wife, because my wife, I told y'all, She's one of those people that watches her six all the time. She's always conscious of the conscientious of her surroundings. Everywhere she goes, she don't want nobody getting too close. Anytime you get too close, she's looking at you funny. Her, her senses are just always up. And, you know, I, I laugh at her a lot. But in actuality, I'm appreciative of it.
because it's a necessity. You got to have your reflectors up and your senses up when you're a woman walking around in the world because of fools and nasty niggas like this, like Gary, who are on the prowl. His surrender happening after disturbing videos circulating on social media appearing to show the end of the assault. It happened at the store located at Snyder Plaza on East Snyder Street on June 23rd. Police say a mugshot will be released once charges are officially filed. Um, you could best believe that those mugshots have been released. Um, Gary has, you heard her say, turned herself in. That's him right there. That's him right there. Gary never had no girls in school. All his life, Gary has been a loser. I promise you. For all the people that was running around like, I get hoes, I get hoes. Gary never had no hoes. Not Gary. This thing is disgusting. So, I found an interesting clip on this after the fallout. And so the woman, um, turns out, was not the only one that had been assaulted at this Dollar Tree. And as a result, she filed a lawsuit. A Houston woman filed a lawsuit against Dollar Tree and a local shopping plaza after she claimed she was assaulted by a man while inside of a store. Uh, it, it's something that we really can't believe this story here, but she was mm -hmm. one of three women who actually say that a man left bodily fluids on them. Joining us to take a closer look at this case is Fox 26 legal analyst Chris Trudeau. One of three. So you've done this two other times, Gary, you nasty ass nigga. I think people like Gary should be put down. That's just me. Well, let's continue. Chris, those other women have reported a similar instance happening in this same store. So my question is, does this woman actually have a case here? Absolutely. And, and it's the fact that there was two other women that makes this a good case because Dollar Tree and the, the shopping center were on notice of the situation. They knew it was a problem. They didn't beef up security and they allowed this to happen knowing that they had this issue that had already happened twice. So how much liability do they hold if they don't take any action? So when you, when you, when you own something like a, a store or a shopping center and you're on notice of a problem, an issue that, that causes an, a problem for your patrons, you have a duty to go remedy that problem. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, that's what creates liability for you. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I had no idea. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to y'all. I had no idea as a business owner that you were responsible for something like this. Could you imagine owning a Dollar Tree and then all of a sudden you get subpoenaed to come to court because somebody's suing you because a predator was running around in your complex, in, in the shopping complex, doing heinous and nasty ass shit to women and now you're held liable for it? I was just trying to run a business. Now I gotta police the streets as well. I gotta police this 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 complex. I gotta police my store. I had no idea that they could be held liable for this, but this is what's happening. Damn. You just woke up and was trying to trying to run your little store. You was trying to make a little money for the day. And now you find yourself in court. She's suing everybody, and I don't blame her. But God damn. In this instance, when you have women who are being attacked and assaulted, and this is this is nothing short of a sexual assault. She wasn't she, she wasn't uh, physically grabbed, but this is the same thing as a sexual assault. She suffers the same m mental and emotional uh, problems that you have if she had been grabbed and uh, grabbed and, and and physically attacked. Mm -hmm. And so. This creates that liability because they did not take the time to beef up their security and do the things they needed to do to protect this this lady and other other patrons 
at the shopping center and in that particular store. Well, it's crazy because this did happen in River Gosh, Oaks, and it, well. it's in an area which I would assume has a lot of traffic in and out of that store. So I'm wondering if there could even be, you know, other women or other issues that come to light because of this. We've seen some like similar issues happen on airlines and whatnot. Really now, what is Dollar Tree or like this franchise owner going to be facing once this lawsuit comes about? So they, the, the lawsuit is for premise liability and for negligence and gross negligence. That's the three causes Jeez, of action that they're bro. looking at. Now, they probably got insurance that'll, that'll be defending them, but that, that's not the issue. Yeah. The issue is, is they knew about this, and so on a premise liability case, which is a little harder to make than, than a negligence case, but on this, when a premise liability case, if they can prove that they were aware of a, a problem that existed and did not take the, the action to remedy the problem, a jury can find that they were liable for it and hold them responsible. Jesus Christ. Hey, Dollar Tree is already in trouble. If you, if you know, you know. If you've, been, if you've been aware, if you've been paying attention, Dollar Tree is already, Dollar Tree is already closing all around the country. So it is a franchise that is already experiencing some financial turmoil right now. And for this to happen in your store, for your store to be known as the one where a, a wanted criminal is running around ejaculating on women, bro, jeez, I can't imagine. Hey, listen, get this loser off the streets. The unfortunate thing about all of this is that the way our system is set up, this fool will not go away for very long, and he'll be back out on the streets in no time. The way our criminal justice system is set up, this fool will be back on the streets in no time flat. Promise you. And this, in my opinion, this is how it starts. This is how it starts. And it just gets worse from there. I think this is this is the, the beginning of something even more before he starts to ramp up his his actual sexual desires. Before they ramp it before he ramps it up to something else before that's not that doesn't do it for him. That don't get him off no more. He got to take it up to the next level. I told y'all I do reports and, and study cases um, as far as true crime goes all the time. And this is man, if this ain't. If this ain't a dead giveaway to something more heinous on the way, I don't know what is. Listen, ladies, y'all be careful out there. Protect yourselves. Um, this is absolutely disgusting. And Gary, Gary needs to be put down. Gary needs to be put down and gotten the fuck up out of here. He does not need to be walking amongst the commonwealth with you and I in normal society. Put him in there. Put him in there with the bears. Put Gary with the bears. Put Gary where all of his kind are. Get him out of here. I'll see you on the next video. Jesus Christ.